Welcome to episode 20 of Dusty. Now in this episode, I've got a few more panels to do. So I've got the bonnet here. There's a few little bits of rust that I just have to cut out. Only a tiny bit, only take 10, 20 minutes. Um, there's a little dint in it, and I just have to strip it and undercoat it. So now I have to get rid of these pieces of metal here. I think these are the bits that sit in the um, sit in the rubbers that sit on the front bib. So three rivets. I'm just going to drill those out, and that'll make it a better job because I can then clean those up and make sure there's no rust underneath. So now that everything's off the bonnet, it's just um, bare metal now. Um, I can start stripping it because underneath here there's a fair bit of um, heat damaged paint, and once I flip it over. All along the front, there's big gouges out of the paint because it's been re-sprayed before. So I'm going to get that all off with this stripper disc. Um, these are awesome. You just click over it and it just eats the paint up. So here's what I'm left with after hitting it with the stripper disc. Now all in places like here, I used um, a wire wheel on the grinder to get in all the seams, get the rust out. But other than that, um, we can flip it over now and do the top side. So before I finish the rest of the bonnet, I'll show you this. So that's the original paint underneath. Then you got the primer and another colour, which doesn't look exactly like the original. So um, I'm going to get rid of all that and see it's all rusted through there. You can see the damage sort of going into the metal. So um, we're going to strip all this back and get it back to bare metal, get it fixed. So that's the bonnet all sanded back to bare metal now. Um, over here there was a fair bit of bog just in that bit. So that's all out. I've um, pushed the dint out, but I just need a little smear of bog back over that to smooth it out. Um, I'm going to do that, and while that's drying, I'll flip it over, paint the underside, and then... Um, once that bog's done, I'll sand it back and paint the top side. So I don't know what the deal with this S primer is, but it's been about 45 minutes since I put it on, and um, you can just scratch it off. Tried to sand it, and as you're sanding it, it was just coming off, so I'm going to strip the whole thing back and um, try again with something else. So the bonnet's all done and cleaned up now. So now I've got some different edge primer. The stuff that I used on the rest of the build. And we're going to um, finish the bonnet off like that. So now that the bonnet's all edge primed, I've got the window frame here. And um, I forgot there was rust in it. So I've got to cut a bit of rust out of that top bit. Um, I'm not going to cut these out, I'm just going to clean them up. Um, there's a little bit over here. I don't think any of it needs actually cutting out, but um, it definitely needs a good clean up this um, window frame. So I'm going to strip it all off first, get rid of all the um, wiper blades, take them back to chrome instead of whatever black is on them, and um, strip all the insides out of the out of here. So take these um, covers off, take all these little black bits off, and um, we're going to clean this up. You can see these. Um, sort of button clips here you got to push in the center of those and it pushes a little bit through um, you do that for the rest of them get a screwdriver under there and or even with the nails and you can just pop that off do that to all of them and um, they'll all come off now all it takes is just to pull these through just like that you've got the whole um, mechanism out so now that's the rust repair done that's all the rust that I know of at the moment that needs actually cutting out Needs a tad bit of bog just to bring it up, probably only a mill or two. But um, I'm just going to clean the rest of this up, dig all this out, um, clean the rust up in the channels there, 
clean the rust up around where the window goes in. Um, clean it all up on the inside here and I hope I don't find any more that I have to cut out. So now that's all there is to it. I put a little bit of bog in this corner where I cut the rust out of. Other than that, it's a, um, it's a perfect window surround, which is really good actually because I was expecting to find a bit more rust in it, but I'm glad I stripped it back because under all the paint there was a fair bit of like hidden little bits of rust coming up. But all in these seams there have all been sandblasted. It's um, all clean, all stripped, so now I'm going to put some etch primer on it. So that's all the panels done. Now the bonnet's all done, the window surround is done and I've put that away already. Well, I'm really happy with the window surround, but there's a few little um, things I have to fix up on the bonnet. Like here, I didn't um, uh, prep the paint that was on it before quite right and it's just peeled off. But other than that, I'm really happy with it all.